Experience, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who register through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a painted book page canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. In our envelopes this month, we have um, a couple of book pages. This is out of a biographical dictionary um, that was weeded. So they're recycled. I tried to give folks um, letters that were pretty far apart. So you'll be able to decide which side of the page you want to use. We have our pretty standard 8 by 10 stretch canvas. Some folks will have it wrapped in plastic. If you do, double check you've got the, you might have the little, um, pieces in the back that you just want to get rid of. We just have our canvas. Um, there is a paintbrush. This is our little quarter inch flat. Unfortunately, I did only have 39. So this one right here, some lucky canvas project person um, is going to pick up a kit with this actual brush in it. I will have cleaned it, of course. Um, since this is a watercolor based project, we have our little card of colors. I listed out the different colors there. Um, yes, don't come at me, my rainbow is off. Uh, it just so happened that way. And then bonus, not quite listed on the envelope. I did include a little one ounce um, container of Mod Podge. This is the gloss version. Um, this will just be to finish our project so we can set that aside for now. So in addition to what you've got in your kit, um, you are going to want to get some water because we've got watercolors. So I've just got a little dish of water there. Um, you'll want to have some paper towels for cleaning off your uh, brush in between colors. And um, it doesn't quite matter if you've got some other things for finalizing. Uh, for the Mod Podge, you can use the brush that we've sent. But if you've got one of our foam brushes that may have been from a previous project or one of your own or kind of one of these basic ones to use with the Mod Podge, um, you might want to pull those out, set those aside for later. Um, also, if you have a fine line or um, black marker, think about using that to kind of give a finishing embellishment to this project. Um, in my example, I did use it to kind of show off what I was going for, a little bit of a flower look. So I've given the stem there and some leaves off to the side and then also another little botanical um, feature to mine um, and then you see the rest is really just kind of free form um, for the project so this is going to be one of those where you're going to want to take at least two different sessions with it so we really don't need our canvas or Mod podge right now so we're going to set those off to the side what we want is our book pages um, our brush our water and our watercolors uh, you have a couple of options with this you really could kind of cut them up and have your, your colors separated or just use from the card. Uh, we have our water. I'm gonna go with purple, my favorite color. So I'm just gonna bring that water right onto my, and get some of that purple and just start painting my book page. The more I come at that color dot, the darker, you see there my purple is gonna get. So depending on what you'd like your color to look like, do that. I clean off between brush, especially since that was a little bit of a darker color. I'm gonna grab some more. Um, let's go for this orange red. So the colors I selected this um, month's project are a rainbow of colors. So we've got a crimson red, you've got a lemon yellow, this orange red which I liked as a little bit deeper of an orange, a cobalt blue for that darker blue. This is a light green, um, but you'll see here, we'll do green next. Let's come in here and get some of this green. By light, it's not super light. Well, that one is because I didn't get to my dot very well. There we go. I like that um, those some of these colors with the lighter the yellow will do the same for you where you really see that text underneath let's take a look at this blue and because I've got um, my two colors now both have water 
um, I'm getting a little bit of spread. So that would be one reason where I might consider pulling my dots off by themselves um, so that I keep my color separate. If you don't mind it, you'll get some really interesting color combos. Um, I can come over my other color if I want to give it a little bit more depth. Just really experiment and then now I've got kind of this extra color. You're going to want to cover your entire book pages. And then this is where we need uh, the separation, the two parts of this project. So I'm going to allow this one to dry. And then I'm going to come back once those are dry. So here I've got some that I pre-painted. So you can see, depending on what I might decide to do as my final canvas project look, um, I just have some blocks of color here. So I've got some green, some of that Per, that violet that's very dark and then that blue and I've covered the whole entire page on this one I gave it a little bit more of like a free flowing so I did my orange down here and then I came back over with my violet to add an extra layer I've got in a very diagonal kind of off way here's some of that violet again over the yellow um, and so these are ready to put onto the canvas Excuse me, and I apologize for my voice in this month's video. So what I am going to do, I'm going to do a very abstract for this one. If you've got an idea, if you want some, the blues across the sky, and you're going to do, you know, maybe a more natural scene, or something with a letter or a face or something like that, also, consider which direction do you want to do your canvas. Are we going for a landscape here? Are we going for a portrait? You, it's totally up to you to decide. Um, this is a fairly small amount of Mod Podge. Um, I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to it. Uh, for purposes of this video, I am using my used water. However, I wouldn't recommend that. You're going to want to add some clean water to it so you don't get very much... Um, coloration to your podge that may change the look of your final product and then I'm just using the bottom of this paintbrush to mix it together to make sure I get so we really just need the paper to adhere to the canvas that seems pretty well mixed so I'm going to use my paper towel to clean off the bottom and then I am um, for purposes of the video going to go ahead and use um, just this brush to spread some podge on but first, I'm going to start tearing off my page. There we go. I want some of both color on that one. I like that dark. You can, it's, the lettering is so much deeper there. Consider maybe, so you want a specific shape. Let's fold this in half so I know I've got... And I'm going to just tear myself a heart out of here. Let me make, make sure I think this through. This direction. That's what I want to do. And I'm just going to come back around. Down to there. So I've got my little half a heart shape. There we go. And I can also, you know, if I want to give it a little bit more of a deep V at the top. Give it a little bit more rounded. Uh, another way that you could kind of do this project, this type of project a little different would be if you wanted to use scissors. And so you really do just cut the designs out as you might like to see them. There we go. That's a little bit better there. This one, since it's already now, with I'm tearing towards me, I'm getting that white there. If I tear away from myself, so this side doesn't have where I can kind of see the core of the paper, but this side does. Depending on how you want to go with yours. Oh, I want some of this yellow in there for sure. And really the fun of this is I can just do my pages however 
I might like it. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. So there's gonna be a certain aspect of layering to this project. So I'm gonna get some of my watered down podge and I'm just gonna lay a layer right onto my canvas. Just kind of wetting it. And I probably wouldn't go for the whole canvas right off the bat, um, just in case some of it like kind of dried on. All right, there we go. We'll set this guy aside. I'm gonna come in with, here we are. And so for this first piece, I am gonna make sure I'm gonna leave my, um, let's go here, my text facing up. Let's find another good piece here. You can see the pages aren't completely wanting to stay down. Don't worry, when we come back through, we'll lay, um, we'll put a layer over top. If there's a piece that's really giving you a problem, give it a little bit of the podge, it'll stay down while you're working. There we go. All right, this piece I actually wanna put on upside down. Let's see, let's get another piece in here. So that when I come over, there we go. I get it basically covered. I need to come back and keep it held down. I can do that. I'm not coming all the way over, and I'll show you why in just a sec. I don't want to completely coat the top of the page. And because this is still wet, we've got a little bit of time to work with it. So if there's a piece you're not really liking where it's laying or how it's looking, you'll be able to pick it up and put it back down. Let's see. I need some more of this red. Oh, the yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool right there so it fits in and I'm just gonna tear this little piece off rather than wrapping around the side you may decide you want your project to wrap around the side I'm getting to a point where I don't have a podge layer down there we go and you can see hopefully some of the color because this is watercolor some of it's gonna come off because this we've just added water to the Mod Podge and it's water-based so we don't need to worry about that let's see let's go with an Oh, uh, that's already upside down. So I want to straight across. I really just love the look of different. Uh, let's go down even more. There we go. And even with a little bit of a tilt. So that you get different, different looks, different pieces going in different directions. And I'm going to come up here for this one. Come right here. There we go. Just going to burnish it a little bit with my hands. If it doesn't want to stay, come back with more podge. You can also do this with watered down Elmer's glue or white glue. That would also work for a project like this. Oh yeah, straight up and down. There's a good angle on that orange. And I don't have to quite worry about the little pieces hanging off the side. I can always come back later. Let's see, I feel like we need a little bit more green and that purple into a green. And if you decide you want your project to show some of the white space in there, maybe that's a relief piece that you're gonna leave. Um, you are, that's something that would probably look really cool. Some more blue. Let's go in a straight up and down manner for this guy. There we go. Excellent. All right, so I'm at about this halfway point. I want to tuck touch back on why I haven't completely coated. <clears throat> if you feel that you want to add some more color later, we can just come in with our watercolor card. This is definitely going to be more than you actually need. And so I can give a 
a line of color, add some more. And we're going to see that. And then you very much are going to want to let that dry over as well. If you've got maybe a heat gun or um, a hair dryer even to kind of speed that process along, you can do that. I'm also getting where that white of the tear on the paper was. That's getting a color to it when I come back over with my watercolor paints. So just with this project, you really can just kind of let your creativity go. Decide how you might want your final. Oh, that is the wrong thing. I didn't want to dip into that. I was coming for some podge. Also, another great reason to do this in several steps because I wouldn't have had that there. And then once you've got that kind of dried out, like where you, if you've added any extra paint dried, come back with the rest of your Mod Podge and coat all the way across so that you are sealing in and kind of really putting down any of those layers. Just put right here with my heart. And just seal right in. See that purple, hopefully. The layers of it really is going to just add and make every project unique for this one. As always, um, we hope you enjoyed this virtual canvas project. And we are always excited to see um, what your final products look like. You see now this. Oh, you can't re oh there's a little bit of the shine to it like i said this is the gl the gloss podge um so it's got a little bit of a shine to it thank you so much for watching we look forward to next month